Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Elder Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. For truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is a honor and a pleasure, as always, to come and spend some time with you. And let me say this, I absolutely miss uh, just our, our few days apart. I do know that we air... Tuesday through Thursday, uh, 12.30 p.m. for radio and television ministry is Mondays and Fridays, 12.30 p.m. But then there's that space of time that I'm not on the radio, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And so I absolutely missed speaking with you. Uh, I pray that all is going well and, and everything that God has called you to do You are being obedient in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We would love for you to become partners in prayer with us. Stay connected with us. There is so much going on in the ministry, uh, and we want to stay connected with you. We want to become partners in prayer with you, and there is no financial obligation to become a partner in prayer with the balance of life. Our umbrella is Angel Ferguson's Ministries. Our email address is aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com. Send us your prayer request if you would like for us to touch and agree with you that the will of God may be done in your life for your loved ones, for your ministries, for that that business, that uh, what he has put in your spirit uh, for your vision. We want the fullness of God to take place in your life. We believe the word of God according to James 5, 16. Pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. And that is what we're here for. We are here to touch and agree with you in the spiritual realm that his will may be done in your life today. Once again, our email address is aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com. Uh, send us, uh, the subject would be partners in prayer. Send us your name of your loved ones. Uh, we want to connect with you and uh, keep you lifted up before our Father which is in heaven. Also, we invite you to visit us on our website, www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. We have been able to share some video on the website from the revival that uh, we were allowed to do in January at Faith Outreach Deliverance Church under the leadership of Chief Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. and Pastor Lillian C. Allen. Also on last week, we did share with you some of the clips from the March revival that was located in Swainsboro, Georgia. Also on the website, you have the opportunity to check out our courses that we offer, the length of the courses along with the pricing, uh, the registration, please email us. Once again, our email address is aFergusonWRP at yahoo.com. Also on the website, our online bookstore, Hope and Truth Magazine, our publishing division. And as we have events coming up, we will definitely share that with you. Today, on The Balance of Life, we're talking about where is your faith. And this goes beyond, excuse me, this goes beyond just uh, talking about where where is your faith. We're going to take a look at the apostles. On last night, I was meditating and and thinking about what we're going to share with you this week. I always want to share a fresh word. And uh, with the different avenues that we have, um, I I never want to cross over. And what I mean by that is, is I want to make sure that what is for this audience, you are receiving. What's for another audience, they are receiving. And uh, what, uh, you know, when it comes to Bible study and teaching, I want to make sure that house is getting the word that they need. And so on last night, uh, I was praying and meditating and said, take a look at the at the apostles. And, And some of the apostles were once disciples. And it fell in my spirit. The first person we're going to take a look at is Philip. 
and I did a little background and information on Philip, and, and, and there's not a whole lot on Philip. Uh, he, it, it indicates that he is from the same town as Andrew and Peter, with it, which is Bethsaida in Galilee, uh, which was a fishing town situated slightly east and north of where the Jordan River flows into the Sea of Galilee. Um, Philip, uh, it says here that Philip lacked faith. And so we're going to take a look at an instance where, where Philip lacked faith. He, he, he had a question. Jesus gave him some instructions and he questioned Jesus. And, and, and so that's where we come in today where it says, where is your faith? Because one thing is that we all have to come into the knowledge of, and it's based off of our spiritual maturity. When we are given an assignment, when the Holy Spirit leads and guides us, we are to follow the instructions, not question the instructions. And what we're going to take a look at is the 5,000 being fed over in John, the sixth chapter. Jesus asked a question. When shall we buy bread that these may eat? Where can we buy bread? Philip's response was 200 pennies worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. He didn't ask Philip how much money we had. He said, where can we buy bread? And so that's lack of faith. You're questioning. You're not even answering the question. God is saying through the Holy Spirit, send, send this individual, send my servant, send my prophet, send my intercessor, send my pastor, send my apostle, send my prophetess, send my evangelist, uh, send this servant over here, meaning you and I. We're not answering here, here am I, I'll go. We're saying, what do you, who's going to be there? He said, go. We're asking a rhetorical question. He says, I have a word in your belly. I put a word in your belly. And I want you to prepare to go and minister and the invitation comes, but instead of us being obedient, we begin to throw all manner of questions. Who's going to be there? That's not what he told you to do. He said, I have a word in your belly. I want you to deliver it. He didn't ask you to question who was going to be there. It's time that we show up for the assignments. Follow the instructions. If he sent you, if he put the word in your belly, and you know 100% that this assignment is coming from him, and you accept that invitation, your obligation is to go. Not try to figure out who's going to be there. Not try to figure out um, the social media and, and all of this other stuff and, and all, no, you go and deliver the word. Whom is supposed to be there will be there. Your job is to feed. Let us go over to the word of God because uh, we're going to take, like I said, we're going to take a look at the apostles. Each one of them had some some things going on. We all have things going on. No one is perfect. He's not, God is not looking for perfect. He's looking for faithful. We just have to show up for the assignment. Amen. We'll be back in just a moment. On behalf of You'll Overcome Ministries and Lee's Mobile Games, we would like to present Breaking the Silence of Autism, Autism in Children of Color, April the 6th, 2019, 
2 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m., located at the Chester H. Ferguson Event Center. The address is 1610 North Tampa Street, Tampa, Florida, 33602. Autism comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Autism does not discriminate. However, our people of color are sometimes ashamed and in denial, not sure of how to get support, not sure of where to turn, not sure of what doctors to see and or how to to, to detect what's going on. Please join You'll Overcome Ministries and Lee's Mobile Game Service as they present Breaking the Silence of Autism, Autism in Children of Color. All are welcome to attend. There will be speakers during this event, vendors as well. If you are interested in being a vendor and you are in the Tampa Bay area, please reach out to 813-377-6725. Once again, this is happening on April the 6th, 2019 from 2 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Located at the Chester H. Ferguson Event Center, 1610 North Tampa Street, Tampa, Florida, 33602. For more details, you can also, uh, on Facebook, look for You'll Overcome Ministries, and you will be able to make contact with Prophetess Yolanda Lee George. If you are just joining us today on The Balance of Life, we are so excited about what God is doing in the atmosphere. And so our question today is, where is your faith? When you receive an assignment, when we receive an assignment, why is it that we automatically begin to question who's going to be there? He said, go. Study the show yourselves approved. You've been studying the word of God. You've been praying for opportunities. And when the opportunity comes, we destroy the opportunity before we get there with all of these questions. Let's take a look at St. John, the sixth chapter, beginning at the sixth, the first verse. It says, after these things, Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee, which is in the Sea of Tabiris. And a mul great multitude followed him because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were diseased. And Jesus went up into a mountain and there he sat with his disciples and the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was nigh. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that these may eat? And so that was a question. Jesus is looking. He already knew the answer. When Jesus asks a question, he knows the answer. He also knows our responses. And this he said to prove him for, to, for he himself knew what he would do. He already knew where the bread was going to come from. He already knew that he was going to ask of the father and bless what he had in his hand. And so when you are sent on an assignment, when God gives you instructions to do something, he already knows what you have. What he needs for us to do is show up and then he's going to bless what we came with. He already knows that the assignment he gave you is much bigger than you and that that little that you have will not cover that what he gave you to do. But if you show up, with what he gave you. He's going to bless it. He just needs you to show up. He doesn't want you to try to gather all this on your own. Once again, where is your faith? If he called you to it, he has equipped you and he will provide the sacrifice. He just needs you to show up. Don't question 
what God told you to do. You know what you have. It's not even your words that you're delivering. He's going to connect you with those who will help you. He just wants you to show up and be obedient. Where's your faith? Once again, verse six says, and this he said to prove him. For he himself knew what he would do. He just wants to know if you're going to be obedient. We'll be back in just a moment. Angel Ferguson's Ministries School of Ministry and Mentoring has the current courses available. A Breakthrough in My Life, A Guide to Spiritual Maturity, Discovering Your Ministry and Spiritual Gifts, The Promises of God, The Components of the Old and New Covenant, Mentoring with Motivational Speaker Angel Ferguson, The Writer's Launch, and Purpose, Goals, and Dreams, along with Roadmap to Self-Publishing. For more details on the courses that we offer, at Angel Ferguson's Ministries, please visit us online at www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. We are recognized by the state of Florida as a religious institution. What does that mean? That means that after completing our courses, we can provide you with certification of completion that you can use in building your resume uh, spiritually and naturally. Once again, please visit us at www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. We are so excited about what God is doing at this time. Our latest workbook, The Components of the Old and New Covenant, The Promises of God that we, uh, we did in New Jersey, during a 15 week uh, teaching session uh, is doing well. And, uh, and so we just had to place another order and we are excited about what God is doing uh, that this workbook is, is being introduced into uh, ministries and, and, and it is being taught. Uh, there are opportunities to where uh, we can come and, in, within your ministry to teach this course, or you can order the workbooks and teach the course. Uh, it is a 15-week course. There are lessons in the courses uh, within the workbook. Yes, I do give homework. Uh, I do believe that uh, we need tools. And so I, I have a rule that uh, if we are in your presence, you leave with tools. If you have just tuned in, you have tuned in to The Balance of Life. I am Elder Angel Ferguson, and I am super excited. I tell you that on Sunday afternoon after I returned from morning worship service, I felt this urgency in my spirit, um, and I had to remind myself that I did not have a scheduled flight out this week. I felt in my spirit that I was about to get ready to take off again. Um, we were in revival, uh, the M March 4th, uh, 4th through the 8th in Swainsboro, Georgia. And, uh, I just felt in my spirit, um, that I was supposed to leave out this week and it could just be in the spiritual realm, but I heard in my spirit to get prepared. And so, uh, that is what we're doing. We're getting prepared. So when he says, I need you to go, uh, we are prepared to go. That's, that's coming in that question, where is your faith? And we're talking about Philip, who was a disciple, and he went on to be one of the apostles. Jesus asked him a question. He asked the disciples a question, actually. And the question was, and he said unto Philip, and we were in St. John, the sixth chapter, when shall we buy bread that these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered 
him 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little one of his disciples Andrew Simon Peter's brother said unto him there is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes but what are they among so many and so here you have another one of the disciples uh He's answering as well. First, it's Philip that says, you know what? All we have is 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 200 uh, in, in pennies worth. That's not enough. And then Simon, Andrew Simon uh, says, you know what? And there's a lad over there that has five loaves of bread and two small fishes. And, and that's not enough. But that wasn't his question. That wasn't, that wasn't the question Jesus asked. Verse 10 said, and Jesus said, make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves. And when he had given thanks, he distributed it to the disciples and the disciples to them that were sat down. And likewise of the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto them, come on now, this is some faith. He said, gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. He took what he had and he blessed it. God, once again, gave you an assignment. He directed you through the Holy Spirit. He wants you to take what you have and give it back to him. Give thanks for it. No, it's not enough. You yourself know it's not enough, but that wasn't the question. That wasn't a part of the assignment. He said, take what you have in your hand. Use what you got and I'll do the rest. I just need you to be obedient. I just need you to sit the men down. I just need you to go and feed the people, feed the sheep. There is more than enough. His grace and his mercy is sufficient. You just go. I'll do the expansion. I'll make sure it's more than enough. You just show up. Stop trying to figure it all out. God, it's in your hands. Bless this word that you put in me. He knows who's going to be there. He knows who's going to show up. He also knows who's going to receive. He knows who's coming with an expectation to receive. Your job is just to show up. Stop trying to figure out all of the intricate parts. You're going to give yourself a headache. You're going to give yourself a nervous breakdown. You're going to put yourself up against the wall. You're going to end up canceling out your own assignment because you're trying to figure out all the ins and outs. And that's not what he told you to do. He says, I just need you to be obedient. He said, whence shall we buy bread? that these may eat. He didn't say how much money do we have. He didn't even say, you know what? See if you can get a collection among these people. That's not what he said. He said, how much money do we have amongst us that we may buy bread? He is the bread of life. You're wondering what you're going to feed them. Feed them the word of God. You've studied to show yourself approved. The word of God is resting in your belly. He's giving you a fresh anointing. He's outpoured his spirit upon you. He has revived you. And so that word that is in you is ready to be released. All you have to do is show up at the podium at the appointed time. Consecrate yourself. Get into a place. Open up your mouth. Give him thanks. And he will do the rest through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Let him do his job. 
He can do this. He can handle it. We'll be back in just a moment. God is so faithful to what he is doing. If you are looking for a place of worship while you are in the Tampa Bay area, we would like to invite you to True Life Community Worship Center under the leadership of Pastor Calvin Green and Pastor Angela Green. The address is 7402 North 56th Street, Building 600, Tampa, Florida, 33617. Every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. is True You, which is their Sunday school. Morning worship begins at 10.30 a.m. And on Wednesdays, Bible study begins at 7 o'clock p.m. Once again, True Life Community Worship Center, 7402 North 56th Street, Building 600, Tampa, Florida, 33617. If you are in the New Jersey area and you are looking for a place of worship, please, please visit Faith Outreach Deliverance Church under the leadership of Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. and Pastor Lillian C. Allen. You will not be disappointed as you visit this awesome, awesome ministry. The address is 100 South Pine Street. Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302. If you are looking for custom logos and designs for your business, organization, or even your personal usage, please contact No Mercy Soldier. For $75, you can receive one logo design, one business card design, and up to 500 business cards. Please contact James Ferguson at jamesf at nomercyhmx.com. And as always, we are so excited about what God is doing in the ministry. We want to extend an invitation to you to become a partner in prayer with us. There is no financial obligation. All we ask of you is that you email us. That's right. Send us your email, your prayer request, uh, what you would like for us to touch and agree with you. Healing for your body, your mind, your spirit, for your loved ones, for your ministry, uh, for your business, for that which God has given you to do. We believe the word of God where it says, pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. Once again, our email address is aferguson.wrp at yahoo.com. Also, please join us on Mondays and Fridays for our television ministry. You can log on to our YouTube channel, The Balance of Life with Angel Ferguson. For the next couple of weeks, we are going to be talking about prayer, the need and allegation, the allocation of prayer. Once again, that's Mondays and Fridays, 1130 a.m. Please log on to our YouTube channel, The Balance of Life with Angel Ferguson. And as you know, we broadcast on the radio every Tuesday through Thursday. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to be taking a look at the apostles. Some things that, we, that they've dealt with, which are some things that we've dealt with. Our first person we were taking a look at is Philip. Philip, at one time, as the others, lacked faith. Jesus asked a question. His answer signified he lacked faith. I want you to get this in your spirit. When God sends you on an assignment, he already knows what you have. Don't look upon your own ability. Don't look at, oh, I can't do this because I'm just, you know, overhearing this little number. He already knows that. He needs us to show up for the assignment. He's going to provide everything that you need. He's going to provide the provision. He knows who he wants there. He, he's already prepared the way. The angel of the Lord has already gone before you. We just have to show up. 
If you would like a copy of today's broadcast and its scriptures, please email us at aferguson.wrp at yahoo.com. Broadcasting date is March the 19th, 2019. Subject is, where is your faith? I absolutely love you. Until tomorrow, stay encouraged.